In this video, we'll cover adding triggers to a capture in Peak Logic standalone using Pulse View. So, so far we saw that we have some SPI data coming over here, but this has the clock, this has the mossy, and this has the CS pin. Now, now let's say you want to add a trigger to start capturing on the falling edge of the CS pin. So in order to do that, we click on 15 over here, then we can select the trigger over here. So this is this means a low level trigger, this means a high level trigger, this means a rising edge trigger, this means a falling edge trigger, and this means a either of rising or falling edge trigger. So we're gonna select a falling edge trigger over here. And there's also an option to select the number or percentage of pre-triggered samples you wanna capture. So for the that option we go over here and we can adjust the percentage of pre-triggered samples we want. So, so here we keep this as at 1%. After this, let's click on run again. So you can see that it has marked the trigger over here. We have 1% samples captured pre-trigger and after the trigger we have the SPI capture. 